What's up, guys? Powerbang here, and we are going to do some scouting today. Um, it's been a while since I've done a scouting video. Uh, it's prep day in our clan where we've been matched with the Patriots. Let's check them out. They're a 91 clan. They've got some high-level guys. Uh, they're going to be a challenge, so we're looking forward to that. They've got, it looks like, seven Town Hall 10 players. The majority are Town Hall 9. They've got four Town Hall 8s and a Town Hall 7. So they're going to spot us three stars with the Town Hall 7. We've got equal number of Town Hall 8s. They do outnumber us in Town Hall 10s by three bases. So um, it's going to be a challenge. Let's go ahead and look at some of the top Town Hall 9s that we can uh, scout and figure out how we're going to take these guys down. Now, when we look at a base, we're looking for a vulnerability, something that we can exploit to get the three stars. Now, in this base, you'll see the air defenses are all in the core of the base, every one of them. And if you click them, you'll see that their range does not cover the point defenses on the outside of the base. Now, this is the case for all four sides here. They do cover a little bit on the bottom, but not enough to make it an actual hazard. You're still going to be able to take out those buildings before the air defense can hurt you. Um, so. Let's look at the potential double giant bomb locations, first of all, because the point of cleaning up these outer buildings is to eliminate, first of all, the pathing that your hogs are going to take um, when they enter the base to do the cleanup. The last thing you want to do is leave up a building that's going to take them to it, and there's going to be double giant bombs in the way. So um, that, will, that will stop your raid very quickly, and you will not get the three stars. So... If you look behind the cannon and the archer tower here, this spot right here, these are going to be my prime locations for double giant bombs on this base. The reason being is when you send hog riders in from the sides here, it's going to target the archer tower, the cannon, and then the next closest defense building here for it to target is going to be this wizard tower. Those hogs are going to go right across that uh, little moat there. Same thing on the other side. Um, right across that moat those are going to be the primary defenses that you have to take out with your balloons to open this uh, raid up now as you look around the ring here there are a ton of defense buildings that are not covered by the air defenses now if we highlight what those buildings are you know that these are all targets that you can take out before you even begin your raid now if that doesn't make things a little easier I don't know what does so what we're going to do here is count out exactly how many balloons we think we need uh, in order to eliminate all of these buildings. So, you know, you may not be able to get to them all, but depending on uh, how many it's going to take, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out right now. So if you remember, on the bottom, the air defenses are barely in range, and then on the top defenses, the air defenses were completely out of range. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop one balloon here and it's going to target the uh, archer tower because it's an air targeting defense building first. Now, while the archer tower is distracted with that balloon, drop another balloon right away on the cannon. The first balloon will take out the archer tower, and there's nothing left in range that can hurt the balloon hitting the cannon. Uh, that is unless there's a Tesla here, but if that's the case, you're actually better off um, knowing that there's no double giant bombs. So. Anytime a Tesla pops during your your raid, immediately drop at least one extra balloon, sometimes two, depending on how many buildings are in the area, and if they're a key position that you want to take out. So drop one right away if a Tesla pops unexpectedly. Now, the same thing on the other side. One balloon to start off on the Archer Tower, another following it up immediately on the cannon. Let's go ahead and keep a tally of these over on the left side of the screen here. Um, that way we can keep straight how many balloons we need. So far, four. Same thing goes for the top. You're going to send one balloon in here, another balloon in um, to the cannon. And the order is important. You're going to send one to the air targeting first and then the ground targeting. As long as there's no other uh, buildings in range that can hit them, uh, you're going to be home free. So that's going to be another two balloons. And then because there are locations such as these on top that could have Teslas in range that could mess your raid up there, Take another two balloons up there just in case. You can keep them in your bag to help with cleanup if uh, if that's you know not the case. But it, it never hurt having too many unless it's starting to cost you a lot in the army camp space. You know you, you have to kind of make that decision. So let's look at the bottom now. Now remember, target the air targeting point defenses first. So we're going to send in a loon here. Ignore the queen for a minute. I'll explain how we're going to deal with her in a minute. So we're going to send in two here one immediately afterwards on the other air targeting which is the wizard tower 
and then one to finish up on the cannon. I actually make that two because it is in range of the air defense. So we're going to have five on this side, two for the archer, two for the cannon, one for the whiz. So one, two, three, four, five. Same thing on the other side. Uh, one for the archer, or no, let's go two for the archer, one for the whiz, two for the cannon, and we'll go five there as well. So one, two, three, four, and five. So that's 18 balloons that you're going to need to wipe the outer ring of this, uh, this base. Now, typically what I'll do is take a couple extra just in case um, we have some Teslas, you know, pop up. Take 20 balloons. That should get you um, done as far as the... Uh, De point defense elimination point part of this uh, this raid. Now, remember our three steps to open any raid. What we need to do is lure the clan castle. How you're going to lure the clan castle is as these buildings get destroyed on the outside, the loons have nowhere to go um, but inward, and they're going to go towards the in inner part of the base. And as they do that on all sides, um, they will enter the clan castle range and they will pull the troops out. So that's how you're going to do your uh, your lure. So you won't have to essentially worry about the lure at all. Just focus on killing the point defenses. They'll move in, get the lure done for you. The next step was killing the queen. Now, this is going to take some creativity because the queen, as you'll notice, is inside some walls. Um, but the cool part is, see that opening she just ran through? They have left us a little opening in the wall right here. Now, that's going to work to our favor because how we're going to approach this is we are going to drop a giant right here and immediately after that giant we're going to enter two wall breakers in to break this wall now that giant's going to attract the attention of this wizard tower so it's going to be firing at the giant distracting it for long enough for those wall breakers to break this wall so is the archer queen she'll be firing here as well now your barb king is going to come down right after i mean all of this is going to be bang 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 so you're going to put your giants down immediately put your wall breakers down and then immediately put your king down your king's going to go down right here he's going to go through this opening in the wall take out this queen user ability etc after you put your king down that is when you put down your balloons in this location so when if we go back let's clear the board here when we do our uh when we do our uh initial loon opener what you want to do is start up here so kill kill this stuff then this stuff then this stuff work on this part down here and after you've got loons targeting all of those um, areas you got to do this pretty quickly um, you're going to drop your giant here then your wall breakers then your king then your balloons and then what that's done is your your giant and your barbarian king have attracted the queen's attention she's not worrying about the balloons at this point the balloons will actually help probably kill her with the splash damage that they're dropping um, on these uh, defenses so once that's done the clan castle troops will be out you're going to pull them um, to I like to start from the highest DPS side of the base which to me I think is going to be the bottom with those Teslas potentially in the core um, bring them down, use your standard CC kill method, um, you know, witches, wizards, and your archer queen backing that up. Um, do that in this area here. Um, break the wall. As they move in, hopefully they trip some bombs that are in this location here. The, the only wall breakers you're going to need is the first set because this moat around the base makes it so wall breakers are not necessary. Your troops are going to travel in no problem. And then once that's done, uh, you can go ahead and send in your hogs. I would go a two finger drop from say these locations here. From the bottom one, send a test hog first because you want to clear the spot of a double giant or of a single giant bomb. That way you don't just nuke your whole pack right off the bat. Um, this spot here should be clear to run straight to the core untouched. And you're gonna have them meet up at the first part of the core. Your heal locations, I would say one here, one here, one here, and then the uh, the fourth one, you know, use it at your discretion wherever you need it. But you've got uh, really the only thing left to worry about is the Expos and then the Teslas, wherever those happen to be. So that's how I'm going to hit number eight. Um, we'll, we'll check back and see if that happens or not. Um, hopefully we'll get the three stars. So moving on to number nine here, let's uh, take a look at this base and figure out what kind of strategy we're going to hit this with. Now, looking at this base, there are very little 
uh, double giant bomb locations, and because I've seen this southern te teaser type style of base before, and that's with the opening on the bottom of the base um, where the, the walls aren't actually closed, this portion here, it's open, they want you to hit this base from the bottom. And the reason why is because they've got Teslas stacked up in here, and if I was to guess, they're going to have all four in that core right there. So that is where I'm going to scout the, uh, the Teslas to be. I'll go ahead and mark those on the... Uh, the map here terrible tease but hey you get the idea all four teslas are in the core now where does that leave us for for giant bombs the single giant bomb locations up top here we don't really need to concern ourselves with because there's no room for doubles we don't have to worry about any of this junk you know it's not gonna hurt our hogs to, to hit a single as long as we have a heel ready um, the double locations you'll notice are right here on both sides of the base so Right here, you're going to have the spring traps as they're between the uh, the defenses. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, this is kind of what I would do for this base. You're, you're going to use a Goho Wee Wee, and that's going to be your Golem, Hogs, Witches, and Wizards. And what you needed to try to figure out is um, what your troops are going to be responsible for, how far they need to get into the base. You're basically going to kind of split the base in half. You're going to you're going to let your hogs half half of it, and the the kill squad portion of it have half as well. So I would say if you can make it to the core with your your golem witches and wizards, you're doing great. Um, the lure portion of this base, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take. You'll notice it's up here. I'm going to take some balloons and eliminate the single giant bomb potential from the top of this base. I'm taking balloons in, and I'm going to send two to this cannon right here one here one here that's going to send four balloons <clears throat> and it's going to get the lure done it's going to eliminate all of these buildings up here but the most important thing that you've done by doing all this in addition to getting the clan castle lure is this giant bomb location and this giant bomb location are now irrelevant because your hogs will not path there um, there will be no buildings left in order f uh you know to make uh, the hogs go up to that portion of the base so as they come in you can do a two finger drop say here and here <clears throat> and they will uh, begin to path around the upper part of this base um, one thing that I might do actually is in addition to the four balloons on top I might spend another balloon right here and right here and the reason for that is it's out of the range of the air defenses it's an easy one for one trade and it's going to keep your hogs from pathing like this to the outside portion of the base. Now, that's what we don't want. We want to eliminate this building, and when they get done with this archer tower, we want them to jump back in um, to the, the d dangerous buildings in the core, like the expos. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to open this base with uh, with some balloons. So we'll, we'll drop one here, one here, uh, two here, one here, and one here. So for the cost of six balloons, you're going to kind of narrow up the base. And then uh, when, when it's time for your hogs, um, you will drop them here and here. And then they'll path to the archer tower and then to the core. So you won't need a lot because, as you notice, there's very few uh, defensive buildings up top. There's uh, some expos, some air defenses, and then uh, a couple cannons on the outside. But really, this is you know a very, very weak base at the top. And the hogs are going to um, wreck this no problem and get down here to assist with the Teslas. So, that is how I'm going to hit number nine. Um, focusing on our golem drops right now, when we pull the clan castle, we're going to pull it to the bottom of the base. Now, the bottom of the base, we can uh, send in some troops right here. We just need to make sure that we do it outside of the range of the mortars. Once we have everything mostly killed down here, um, we're going to go ahead and send our golems in, but we're going to do it from angles that are... Uh, you know that makes sense we're gonna send one in from over here and one in from over here now that way they path to these cannons first and they're spread that way we're able to create our funnel and our funnel needs to happen by dropping wizards behind our golems we need to drop wizards here and break this building and we need to drop wizards here just one will work drop this building and then make sure these buildings are gone as well with wizards um, and then when you drop your kill squad, um, the army camps will be up 
the the lab will be up and then they'll uh, go to the nearest buildings which are the defense buildings in the base so that's what's going to happen the witches um the golems as they move in to to kill these defenses they are going to be responsible for taking out these double giant bombs um shouldn't be an issue but uh you can send in a couple wall breakers behind your kill squad once those uh wizard towers are down um you're gonna send in your king on this side and the reason is this little queen is gonna hop out to play she's gonna be right in here and your king is gonna make a beeline for her and get her killed so your your kill squad is basically going to be trying to to clear out this entire bottom compartment here and then what you want to do is maybe break into you know I'm gonna bring a jump spell actually for getting into the core we'll, we'll just drop a jump spell right here and it will allow us to hop over into the core so we'll do that get the golems in there um, the one thing that the golems might try to do is head out to get these cannons but as long as we get the jump spell spell down in advance um, as they retreat they should hop over into the core and we should be good so as far as your heal locations go most of the um, defenses should be focusing on the lower half of the base the goho we uh, the the go wee wee portion of it the hogs as they come in from the top um, they will not need much support but i would guess that somewhere that's a bad drawing somewhere in these areas like this to uh heal the expo locations and then get part of the uh the teslas and i'm guessing somewhere you know like that to get that last part so that's kind of what i'm thinking for the the heels we'll see how that goes you know they might need to be adjusted slightly um but as the pogs path towards the core and take everything out that's really where the, the heels need to go to, to focus on keeping them up and and getting the base out um hopefully you guys have learned a little bit from looking at these bases let's look at uh let's look at one more let's go to one that's a little bit lower um and and do a quick scout on that let's go to let's go to 13. <clears throat> All right, so this is a little bit lower rank base. Uh, the lower level heroes get 10 and 11 here. Um, you know, we're looking at it, figuring out what is this vulnerable to. The the clan castle lure is very easy. Um, you know, you can drop literally barbarians in range of you know the barracks over here, and for the cost of maybe you know five troops space, you can pull the whole clan castle. Um, then you'll anchor an archer over on the the far left builder hut you know they were nice enough to leave builder huts on the corners guys don't do that if you're building your bases don't put huts in the corners that's a that's a low level newbie trick to try to run people out of time um folks at, at higher level wars they, they don't fall for that and it just offers up a, a really easy anchor um, for you to pull the clan castle troops to that are out of range of the defense so it, it allows people to save troop space and you know saving troop space is what allows three stars so bring the troops over you know you anchor here as they come over you know drop your witches wizards first get your distraction troops down and your uh, archer queen to back that up now i would recommend a uh, cold-blooded lava loon for this this attack um, what that means cold-blooded is bringing one golem now i would drop my golem uh, somewhere right in here and it's probably going to come target maybe that spot on the wall and you're going to have the attention of this cannon this archer this cannon this mortar and uh, probably gonna be out of range of the wizard tower but possibly this expo depending on where the range is so um, as you bring your golem up there you're gonna have your kill squad behind it make sure you drop your golem in front of your kill squad as they get rid of the last of the clan castle troops before they move up to the, get in range of the defenses and then the the next thing that you're gonna do is bring wall breakers in and break this section of the wall so now you're uh as your as your golem is in range um key part of this uh raid make sure that uh you're able to create your funnel you want to break this building you're going to want to break this building and then the same thing on the other side um you're going to want to take out this building and this building with wizards now that gives them only one spot to go and it's right 
here. Now that that is where we want to focus our troops. Now, once this wall is open on top to the cannon um, and the funnel is created, you can bring your Barb King in. Your Barb King is going to go straight into this compartment here. And then uh, we're going to throw down a jump spell. Now the jump spell is going to be multi-purposed, but uh, it's going to allow us to get into the base, destroy some buildings. Um, our golem is going to get in there. The primary objective here that we're trying to do is, remember if you recall the, the opener to any raid, lure the clan castle, kill the queen, take out secondary objectives. So as we get in here to the base, um, we're killing the queen because that's what we're throwing down the jump spell for is to access her. She's going to be standing on the outside of the wall most likely anyway. Um, but we're able to take out an air defense. And then as we get these troops into the base, um, they're going to have some serious distractions. So let's clear the board. We've got our clan castle dead at this point. We've got an air defense dead. We've got the queen dead. Um, then we are going to start sending in the, tr the sending in the troops. We're going to take three lava hounds with us. The first, uh, the first Lava Hounds are, why am I not seeing this base right right now? Does this really only have three air defenses? Really? Weird. When I was going to draw, the one of the air defenses disappeared. Um, okay, so this air defense right here, let's, uh, let's go ahead and work around the base in a counterclockwise fashion. So this one is down. The queen is down. Um, the clan castle's dead. So these buildings here are dead from our entry and this one may or may not be so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna send in two lava hounds we're gonna send one from this angle one from this angle as the one comes in from the bottom angle you can send in uh, you know loons to target this building here so you're gonna send in two loons two loons two loons to the the wizard tower uh, one loon to the mortar will work so you got seven balloons in here. So both of those uh, hounds are targeting this building. Then you're going to want to make sure that you come at this with a rage. We'll drop the rage right here. Everything comes in and, and gets the kill done here. And then as they're killing the first air defense, you're going to want to send in another the third hound. And you're going to do it from the angle that gets the most air defenses uh, looking at it. So send it in from this direction here. And then you're going to be able to send in two loons here, two loons here, um, two loons here. And then as the uh, the balloons are making their way in, you're going to want to to rage them. And you're going to want to wait till this air defense is firing at the hound before you send in loons that are going to get in range of it. Maybe add an extra loon here um, for the air defense. They're going to, to kill that. So basically your hounds are moving around the base in a counterclockwise fashion um, from this air defense to this air defense. And when that one's down, it's gonna go here. Um, you're gonna have probably one hound left at this point. Rage the third third spell wherever it's needed. Um, you know, you, this one's gonna kind of depend on what you have left, where it's coming from. And then, uh, you know, you're gonna bring some backside loons in here and here. Um, once that's happened, you're going to have pups that are all around the base on the bottom um, taking things out. Um, the balloons have moved in to take out uh, the core, the uh, air, the expos, etc. Um, that, that's kind of how I would approach this base. Try to get your rages more towards the core from what I drew them. Um, get in, take out the air defense, take out the queen, and then start deploying around the base in, the, in a, a counterclockwise fashion. Just make sure that when you're dropping balloons that you target buildings. Um, you're not going to spam uh, a bunch of balloons because if you do that, you, you're not going to be successful. Say you drop your, your hound in um, on this building. It's sitting here. If you just do a wall of balloons and they start you know, doing whatever, they're going to all clump up. And when they all clump up, say they all clump up here, you're going to have you know six different you know balloons on top of each other and as they go to this next building if this wizard tower is you know not in range it's gonna kill all of your balloons so it's just not an efficient way to do it don't spam um, target those balloons to the building so this is gonna wrap up I wanna cut this video short um, we're going kinda long here but I wanted to kinda show you what goes through our head when we're doing our scouts um, you know best of luck to you guys in your wars feel free uh, to use any of the tricks or techniques you've seen here um, just remember that when you're looking at a Town Hall 9 base, there is a way to three-star it. 
you know it's it's vulnerable to something there's no perfect base so look at those bases during prep day figure out how you're going to take them down you know make sure it hasn't changed when the uh the war day actually starts and uh go ahead and take them down so hope you guys have uh, enjoyed the video check back more we'll have a recap on the war later and uh have a base building video on the way shortly so thanks again for tuning in guys power bang i am signing out